for us today, it's a, a culmination of a promise and a commitment that we made to young South Africans and to South Africa in general. Just about three years ago, when the current board of the NYDA came into office, we sat down to review the work that has been done by the agency since establishment. Also taking into account the work that had been done by the erstwhile institutions, being Umsa Wumbu Youth Fund and the National Youth Commission in relation to youth development. And then we sought to identify the things that have worked. We sought to identify the gaps that existed on the work that the agency had done in relation to its ability to respond to the mandate that has been bestowed on it by the NYDA Act number 54 of 2008. One of the critical things that we had identified was the lack of uh, research-based programs, lack of the, the programs that were implemented on the strength of understanding the material conditions under which young people found themselves in order to respond to their developmental needs. We had made a variety of commitments as that leadership, um, key amongst them um, the grant funding program, uh, which I'm happy to uh, pronounce that we successfully implemented the program. And the review of the program thus far suggests that the grant funding program of the NYDA is performing at least at a level of 22% above the national average in terms of comparatively um, associating people who are funded by other institutions in terms of sustaining their businesses, specifically new registered businesses that are registered in relation to their existence at least for a minimum period of 12 months and above. We have also committed that education is an important aspect in the development of young people. And one of the key commitments that we had made at the time was that we will establish a scholarship fund that will focus on young people, specifically from rural areas and peri-urban areas. We have since established the Sonoma Matlangu Scholarship Fund, which the president of the country launched two years ago. And young people are getting better and quality education in some of the best universities in our country, including the University of Johannesburg. We had equally committed to an establishment of a youth-built school, the school that will focus on young people who faces mainly the challenges of unemployment and exclusion from the mainstream economy of our country. This resulted mainly by dropout issues. Um, we would know that uh, close to 600, 700,000 young people drop off the schooling system every year within the basic education system. These young people have no education to offer to the economy, have no skill to offer to the economy. So the Youth Build School aims to um, provide them with an opportunity to, to get some a level of skills that they can use either to gain employment or at least to enter the mainstream economy through entrepreneurship. That school will also be launched later on this month of March. So I, I am st stating all these issues because the term of office of the current board of the National Youth Development Agency ends this month. And for me, it's this opportunity uh, also gives me a chance to reflect on the work that the board has done, or the work that we have done with this board, because this is one of those commitments that we are launching today, that we had committed with this um, under the, the leadership of this current board. So, we I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the University of Johannesburg uh, for agreeing to partner with us on this very important uh, project, which for us uh, begins to say that we we need to understand the environment in which youth development must happen. We need to understand what are the better ways of responding to the challenges that young people are facing so that we find better solutions in order to build a better South Africa and making sure that indeed young people who are the majority of the population, as has been reflected by the previous speaker, are able to be incorporated to the South African dream of a better life for all. So we are very appreciative to uh, 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 Vice Chancellor and the rest of the Council of the University for agreeing to partner with us on this all-important project. 
And we're very excited um, that uh, uh, we have been able to bring this institution to life. As you have had, uh, the board of the institute is in place. The managing director who will speak uh, to you later on has, is in place, and work is starting to happen uh, in, the, in, in the institute. So ours really is to, to appreciate and to commit that uh, we're committed to make this institution work. I was listening to, 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 to Vice Chancellor in the other room before we came here, and what he was saying is really the vision that we had. Uh, ours is not for the uh, South African Youth Development Institute to be about South Africa. Indeed, we want to start at home. Indeed, we want to make sure that this institute, in the first instance, is able to, it enables us to be able to resolve the challenges that are faced by young South Africans. But our idea and the ambition in the long run is that this institute must be a solution for SADC and at a later stage, it must be the solution to youth development for the African continent. And we're quite hopeful that uh, with a partner like the Investor of Johannesburg, we will be able to, to, to achieve these dreams and these ambitions. So with that, I would want to, to once again appreciate the Investor of Johannesburg for cooperating with us and uh, wish the MD, uh, who has recently started, all the best uh, in this all-important task. Um, uh, uh, and uh, uh, wish the board members of the institute all the best in executing their responsibilities. And uh, I would lastly just want to appreciate the continuous support that we we'll continue to get from the ministry, uh, both Deputy Minister Manamela and uh, Honorable Jeff Hadebe. And I know that um, with your continued support, uh, youth development is safe. The promise of a better tomorrow will indeed be realized. Thank you very much. The University of Johannesburg. Rethink. Reinvent.